What's going on guys? Welcome to our channel. My name is Ryan. My beautiful wife Lindsay and I are full-time resellers and we go by Rinzi. We have been full-time for almost three years now. We want to share some of the things that are working for us so you can leapfrog some of the mistakes that we have made and get closer to daily consistent wins. We make a full-time living reselling shoes and shoes alone. Today's video, we're gonna talk about systems. It's super, super important for us to build systems into our reselling business for many different reasons. I really think this is going to be an unlock for a lot of you that are building your business as well. Let's dive in. So it should go without saying that there's so many different ways that you can win as a full-time shoe reseller. We're gonna dive in to some examples that we use for systems, but it's super important before we dive in to realize that what may work for us may not necessarily work for you, and what may work for you may not necessarily work for us. Our goal with today's video is just to get you thinking about some systems that you currently use or maybe that you want to use and then give you some uh, examples, some real life examples that we are using. The reason that we are so bullish on using systems is because it tells you what is working and what is not. It helps us create efficiencies in our day. Without these systems or without improving these systems, our business wouldn't grow as quickly and we may not know why we're winning or why we're losing. So it's super, super important no matter what your system is or how it works for you to actually have a system. And we're gonna jump up into the sneaker loft and show you specifically what we're talking about. So we're up in the sneaker loft and these are all the shoes and the shoe racks. We have set everything up by size. So everything you see in this row are sevens. These are all eights. And then if you move over a row, these are all men's and women's nines on the left. And then we have men's and women's 10. And then it wraps around to where we do all our photog. These on the left, these are all men's and women's 11. And then the very back, those are men's and women's 12 and above. And that's how we've set it up. It makes it super easy for us to find things. Now, another system that we use is how we set up each shelf. As you can see, we can fit probably seven, eight, nine pairs. And we always want the heel facing us because there's lots of distinctive features on shoes on the heel and we just use that to identify the shoe. We pull it out when it sells. And although there are hundreds and thousands of shoes in here, it makes it very easy for us to find pairs that have sold. This is a system that has evolved over time uh, as we've either needed more space or we've wanted to get more efficient with how we go through the shipping process, how we go through the storage process. Uh, it may evolve in the future, but that's what we are currently using right now. Let's head over to the Photog station. We have a really good system that works for us in that we have pairs that are cleaned and ready to list over there uh, to the left. And then, of course, we put them in place in the box, this wooden box that we found on the side of the road a couple years ago. And then when we're finished, we stack them over here. It makes it easy to photograph a lot of pairs in a short amount of time. You know, when they're done, they're put over here, and then we write the number of listings over here. We've got the listings per day, and then at the end, we've got uh, how many pairs have been listed for that week, and we obviously set goals and try to beat those goals. Then we take all the pairs that are finished, and we bring them and put them into their designated sizing spots. Um, there's always going to be holes and places for them to go because we have a, a high sell-through rate. Again, here is another system, our lighting setup. We use daylight bulbs on some tripods that we got at Goodwill, and they are set up behind us so that they are shining onto the shoes as we are sitting in the seat. We're also set up the table and the seat so it's we're almost eye level with the shoes. As you can see, this is exactly how we take our photos. We're usually eye level uh, or a little bit above. And then, of course, we've got the TV for entertainment, always watching ESPN. We've got the lights on both sides of us. Again, so it's shining from behind us, lining up, and so it's lighting up the shoe. There's no uh, shadows, and you, so you can give a phenomenal depiction of what the shoe 
looks like and then we've got the chart over here is our shipping department we've set up a system where we've got pre-made boxes on top and then we lay the bubble wrap right down on this uh, we actually got this board out by our dumpster um, and we brought it in and we use it to ship a, a big system that has has helped us a lot is pre making boxes and setting them up we've got obviously unmade boxes right here and then we make them and set them up here we actually just did a bunch of shipping there's usually a lot more but before our system was to make boxes and ship as they came in because we didn't have the shelf now that we've added that shelf we have the space available to put the boxes up it's a system that has improved here's an empty rack that we have sitting at the end of this aisle so that when a pair sells we pull the shoe out let's say this pair ASIC sold we line it up uh, over here and then we print the label we got this printer at Goodwill you know old school we've just got uh, the, the $10 printer it prints we cut the label out we put it with the shoe and then we bulk uh, do all the shipping all at one time here is our boot room to show you another system separate from how we organize shoes all these boots are in on consignment so we use uh, little clips little clothespins to organize everything. Every single pair has a number on a clothespin attached to that boot or shoe. And every number is a designated spot on all these shelvings. We currently have between 500 and 600 spots available for consignment. As you can see, there's um, everything's lined up in numerical order. And then we attach each number that's on each pair in our listing so when the listing sells we know exactly where we can find it all of these shelves wrap around and then we've got some more on the other side of the room as well again totaling between five and six hundred pairs that we can bring in on consignment or have in on consignment at once and then as you can see there's empty spots that's because those pairs have sold already and then what we do we'll show you we'll run back up to the sneaker loft we'll grab the pair off the shelf that sold we'll head upstairs We'll get ready to ship it. We'll pull down a box. We'll lay the pair down. We'll then take that clip off and we put it in this tiny little clear bin over here. These are all the pairs that have sold that designate those empty spots. Then when we are ready to bring in more pairs, these are the clips that we use to attach to those new pairs um, that have that empty spot downstairs. What up from the sneaker loft? We even have systems when it comes to packing the packages in the car. We always set up the bigger packages to the left and then the smaller packages to the right because when we get to the post office and we have to carry stuff in, what we do is we take one bigger package, we go two, and then we go two, and then we go two, and we stack them up like that. And when we pick it up, we can take more packages in saves us time we also go and drop our packages off at a certain time of day now that has evolved that system has evolved based on our communication with the post office we now know that the best possible time to drop off all of our packages is usually between between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. because they can scan it and get it out on the 3 p.m. truck worst case scenario they get it out on the 6 p.m. truck we used to wait till the end of uh, the post office day which is usually around 5 p.m and drop all our packages off then, but then we were missing that 3 p.m. truck. Because we communicated with the post office and we found out this was the optimal time, some of our packages get scanned in a lot quicker and they get shipped a lot quicker. Just another example of a system that we use. There we go, there's just a few examples of some of the systems that we currently use. Now, we may evolve into changing some of those systems, we may evolve into uh, dropping some of those systems and all that there's so many different variables uh, in each of our businesses what's super important is to have systems because they tell you what is working and what is not it's super important for us to understand what we can do to grow our business if you have followed us for any amount of time you understand that we fully believe that we are in control of our business there's nothing anyone else can do that can hinder our business except for us and because of that, we need to monitor exactly how we're doing what we're doing so that we can see what is working and what is not. A phrase we use all the time is pour gas on what is working 
and stop being romantic to what is not. And that stems from all of these systems that we just showed you. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Hopefully this was a mental unlock uh, and you get a chance to dive into looking at some of the systems you have or hopefully developing some systems that will show you what is working for yourself and maybe what is not working for yourself with the overarching goal always to get closer to consistent wins on a daily basis. If you guys have any questions at all, please jump into the comments below. We'd be happy to answer anything, clarify anything, or if you wanna share an example of some systems that are working specifically for you, we'd love to hear it. Until the next video, guys, we hope you enjoy each and every single step.